One of my interests is looking at sources of lead in the environment. Where does it come from? What are the sources of contamination? How do they mix together? And I do field and laboratory work in support of those investigations. So when we arrive at a uh, sampling location, for example, a residence, uh, we'll take a quick look around and uh, we'll try and identify a fairly open and flat environment where there's no obvious signs of uh, disturbances. And uh, we will take one or more soil cores from these. We use these uh, uh, steel tubes, two inch ID, and we will uh, pound them into the soil. From that location we will document our work. We have the street addresses uh, of the residential properties so using mapping we can be pretty certain, as good as GPS anyway, we can be pretty certain where they came from. And we're also taking photos for documentation purpose and I take notes to uh, make sure that sample identifiers are straight with the addresses and uh, um, the photos are to uh, remind ourselves later, maybe weeks or months or years later, where things came from. Uh, lead contamination has been occurring for probably more than a hundred years. Uh, from lead-based paint, from gasoline, from coal burning, from industrial sources of lead, and the idealized sample here for this study would be to get soil that has been intact and has not moved or been replaced or uh, eroded away uh, during that last century or so. Well, we are going to have somewhere around 110 to 120 soil cores and uh, that'll multiply by three uh, for three different depth intervals of each, so uh, on the order of 300 to 400 samples, somewhere in there.